Hi. Um, as you might be able to tell, um, my room has changed. Um, I'm now living in a, a different house, and I now have a lot less space to um, display my Star Wars collection. So I had to pack a lot of it up, and um, you know, uh, box it up for a while. So all, almost all of my uh, loose figures, such as this one, are now in boxes in that. Uh, closet over there, over there. <laughs> um, I mean, except for some um, new ones like this one. But um, most of my figures are now in boxes, all packed up, and it was hard because I had to choose which figures I wanted to pack up and, and uh, what what I wanted to, what I wanted to um, uh, leave out, what I wanted to put away, and it's tough as a collector. So um, just like the whole process, just um, got me thinking about I'm collecting and about like being a collector about you know um, what my collection means to me because I mean we all know um, um, it's a big part of our lives as um, Star Wars collectors so it, it um it got me thinking and um, I just I just I just decided to make a video about my favorite pieces for, for my collection which is what I'm doing right now. So let's uh, let's start. Here we have a, a vintage um, clay two still mint on the package. Um, even the hole is uh, unpunched at the top. It's a um, 1983 Kenner, uh, perfect condition. The card is in uh, great shape. Um, and I mean, they're hard they're um, hard to come by, and it's good shape. So I mean. This is my one um, a vintage uh, carded figure, so he's he's special to me. Um, I'm gonna get, I want to get um, I want to get get uh, some more when I have some more money, but uh, for now, I only have this one. So he's worth, he's worth a lot to me, just because he's you know so old, almost 30 years old, and he's still made it this long, still in the package. So there he is. Here we have a. Uh, Power of the Force, Han Solo, and Hoth gear, but it's in uh, Japanese. The uh, card back is in Japanese, and there's um, uh, several languages actually on the back here. And it's just um, and there's like a tri logo type um, thing on the front there with um, uh, different languages, and um, even the price sticker is still on it. As you can see, it cost. Um, 800 yen, which which I believe was like eight dollars. Um, it was cool because I mean the Japanese price is still on it, and um, I got this at a yard sale. I found it, and then I, st I just um, 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 thought it was cool and um, unique. So there's my uh, Japanese um, solo figure. Uh, I I like it, and here we have my uh, Death Trooper helmet which I painted a few years ago. I customized it around Halloween, a few Halloweens ago, after reading after reading the novel um, Death Troopers. Death Troopers. Um, it's actually, it is a bank with money inside, so it's not a helmet you can wear. You can't, oh, you can't wear it. Um, but, um, it's, it's, it's different because, um, um, I mean, it's original to me because, like, no one else, nobody else has has this, has has this in their collection because like it, it's customized. It's like my own, um, my, my own creation, um, and it just looks really sick. And I'm glad I, glad I, I chose to risk, uh, ruining the helmet because it came out really great, in the end anyway. So and, and now it's unique to me and it's something I have that um, um no one else has, and it, and that's why it's uh, special to me. Um, here we have an autograph, a picture of um, James Earl Jones, who we all know voiced um, Darth Vader in the Star Wars movies. But um, see, there's the autograph right there. Um, I actually, I wrote him a letter um, a year ago, or a, um, um, a few years ago, and um, because um, I stutter, as you can, as you get, 
as you can tell, I have a, a speech impediment. And um, so did James Earl Jones when he was growing up. As a boy, he stuttered. And now, it's ironic because his voice is now world famous as, as um, the voice of um, Darth Vader. So um, he's actually like one of my idols. I kind of um, I admire him a lot uh, for that. So um, I wrote him a letter um, explaining how like I admire him and I, how it's amazing that he went f he went from being a um, a um, stutterer as a child and um, 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 now his voice is. Um, recognized all over the world as um, Darth Vader's. So, I mean, he inspires me a lot. And um, I wrote him a letter that explained all that, and then he, he sent me back this autographed uh, uh, picture. So that, so that, that was um, um, special to me, and it um, meant a lot. As a Star Wars fan, and as, and as someone who stutters, uh, um, yeah, there you go. This is one of my f uh, favorite um, a piece of my collection also. And now we've got this, which is the um, novelization of the original Star Wars movie. And as you can see, it's just Star Wars as it was known then. It's episode four, but it was known back then as only Star Wars. And, so that, and this was published in 1976, so um, 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 before the film came out. And as you can see, it's written by George Lucas himself. And this was released in, in '76, and it's, it's um, these are hard to find nowadays. Um, this is special to me because my grandfather, who uh, passed away last month, uh, he got me this a while ago. He said he got it from a used bookstore for one dollar, and then I did, I did, I did, I did, I did some um, um, research, and I, and I and and I found out it's worth over a hundred dollars now. So. You got it for a dollar, and it's worth worth over a hundred. So, so this is special because it's worth a lot, and 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 and, 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 and it was from my grandfather. So, and it's it's um and it's, it's I mean it's a really old book. It's like yellow pages, and um it has um um color pictures, which which uh, for the time was uh, really good. But um. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it's just a nice, I'm um, a nice piece. It's like a just a um a, a um old relic, but um it means a lot to me. So here's the novel version of the original Star Wars movie, released before the film, '76, right here. So there's that, and then last but not least, That um um goes without saying. It's obviously C three PO, but um he was actually in my high school for thirteen years in the uh, library office. And then when I graduated, I asked the uh, librarian if I could have him, and she said um because at the time um um Japan was um um, um experiencing its um uh, its um uh, earthquakes. So then um she said if I made a um donate um um donation to the um, 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 relief effort for Japan, um, she'd give it to me. So I donated, I, 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 I donated like 30 or uh, 40 dollars and um, to the um, Red Cross or the um, um, relief effort and she gave me 3PO. And so, I mean, it's like, it's like when I graduated from high school, like I took a piece of the high school with me because he was there for much longer than I was there. He was there for 13 years in, in that office, and then it's like I claimed him, and then when I left, I I took him with me. So now he's mine, and he's a memory of my high school and a memory of I mean, it's a life-size cardboard cutout of Superbio. How awesome! I mean, anyway, you look at it, it's awesome. So he mean, he means a lot to me. So just most of the things have like sentimental value, like the book 3PO. The autograph, all those things, are, are just very special to me. And I'm gonna give a few shout-outs because um, I have a lot um, I have a lot of friends who have um um um, um contributed to my collection over the years. So I just want to um recognize a few of them. Um, Catherine.
uh, Kevin. Nandita. Karen, and Chris, and Chloe. So thanks guys for all those things. Um, anyway, I've, um, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to make a video um, um, of my new uh, new room with my updated collection because um, I have a lot more stuff I'm currently um, um, I'm packed into one room now so um, stick or, um, um, stay tuned if you want to catch that um, I'll be making that soon but um, anyway um, thanks for watching uh, comment and like and all that stuff I hope you enjoyed it and I, I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, I just wanted to highlight some of my um, different things and share them with you guys so hope you liked it uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye